Still long and persisting queues at Masero Bridge. Some say they were forced to pay twice after their antigen test certificates from Lesotho were rejected. They say we are yet to sleep here. By the time we get closer to the gate, it is almost half past four and they shut the gates. They kick us out to go back to Lesotho. The following morning, we start the queue from the scratch. You can see the queue has been moving at a very slow pace. Some of these people have been here for the past three days. And the challenge is that most of them say they've had to pay twice because suddenly the results that they got from the Lesotho side cannot be used on the other side of South Africa. The Minister of Health, Matlazi Makala, for taking a tour, expresses frustration with inconsistencies regarding the testing protocols from the South African side. This is horrible. It's so inhuman that we really need to do something. But the only thing that we can do is when we engage with our counterparts in South Africa, Minister of Health and uh, Minister of Home Affairs, we really have to do something. We are saying... On the Lesotho side, we can still do the same thing, test people on the Lesotho side, they test people on the other side. At least in a day, we can be able to do 2,000 or so when we do it together. So at the moment, they are only covering around 800 or so, and these people are over 3,000 or so. What was the problem with the antigen tests that they said they are rejecting? What was the issue with them? There was an issue because we agreed with the other team and we agreed on the platform, the kind of antigen that we can use, uh, the kind of certificate that we can issue. The only problem is there are some people on the other side who are not accepting that uh, certificate, which we agreed both sides. So we are still waiting the response. They are saying it's going to come from Pretoria. We are optimistic that it will come positive so that we can test the people on the Lesotho side and the other people tested on the other side so that we can facilitate for them to go to their work. Clearly a very complicated and much complex task, but the ministers will be trying to solve the situation. Until then, we are yet to see whether they are not going to sleep on the side of the border again. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Sud.